With a bit of detailed research, 2002 was a busy year. Justin and Britney split up, everyone was rocking the flip phone, and Michael Jackson introduced his third child to the world. Clearly a time for change, but not for the silver Chinese panda. Watch the crack YouTube Irish Silver Stack here, and this is the 2002 Silver Chinese Panda brought to you by Irish Gold Bullion. Every year the design changes on the reverse of the Chinese Panda series, bar one, the 2002, which kept the same design as the previous year. If you happen to know why this is, you might let me know in the comment section, but for now we'll just go with, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Depicting a panda moving through the branches of a bamboo forest. On the bottom it's face value, 10 yuan, and just on the top, the weight and purity of the coin. Like all silver pandas, every intricate detail is given 100% attention to produce that flawless design that they're known for. But what might not be so obvious is this almost edgeless design that they have from the circumference of the coin, finishing it off with style. Since 2001, all pandas have angled reeds on the edge of the coin to act as a security feature. And with the amount of counterfeits on the market, you want to make sure that you buy from a reputable retailer, like today's sponsor. Irish Gold Bullion is a leading gold and silver bullion dealer, offering a wide range of gold and silver coins and bars on their website. Make sure you visit their sister company, Wickham Silver, offering that free silver delivered to your door in discreet packaging. I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, whatever Chinese panda you pick up from Wickham Silver, it's going to be rocking this design on the back. The Temple of Heaven. It's been the centerpiece of the obverse since its inception in 1981. Written on the upper circumference of the coin is Su Hai Ring Ming Gun Hu Wo, which is Mandarin for People's Republic of China, and of course we have the date on the bottom. The Chinese Panda is a great coin to collect and would definitely be called a numismatic coin, especially when you're talking about those older years. The 2002 has a mintage of 500,000 and would generally, but not always, come in sealed plastic as my one did. And yes, it did break my heart to open it. However, that's what I do to give you a close up look at these fantastic coins. Thanks so much for watching. Don't be afraid to hit the like button or the dislike button. Comment and let me know what you think and subscribe for more. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. Guys, connect with me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. And if you liked what you've seen, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.